Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm out here at a very sacred site. This place has tens of thousands of petroglyphs, all of them over 600 years old. And this is this is an official place. You actually check in and check out. But my good friend who uh, put me onto this place made me swear to secrecy to not put the location out there. If we learn anything from what happened in Big Bend National Park, it's probably better to keep some of these places uh, a little bit more sacred, a little bit uh, harder to find. Uh, if you're really interested in that sort of thing and you really do want to go see it, uh, shoot me a DM and we can talk. Um, like I said, it's not a private thing. It's not something I'm trying to gatekeep, but I did promise my friend that I just wouldn't put it out there for the entire internet to see. But uh, I really had to show you all around at just some of these really incredible, incredible petroglyphs that are out here. This is going to be a pretty short video. As you can see, the sun is already setting behind me, and uh, I do have permission to shoot a little bit of night stuff. So I already found uh, pretty much my sunset and my nighttime frame, I think. There's some really incredible stuff out here. Some really good paintings by uh, some local artists of the place too. And uh, there's a couple pretty good photographs. And so I thought uh, I would stop here for the night and just see, uh, try my hand at shooting some of the petroglyphs out here. Gosh, it's really, really beautiful. That site has tens of thousands all over these rocks. And then a couple miles behind me is kind of the old, uh, the old village. So Anyway, um, I'm gonna take y'all up here. I'm gonna show you uh, show you my sunset frame. There's just thousands of them all over the trail. Almost every direction you look, we have a really stunning, beautiful landscape. Look at this, I can't believe I'm filming video right now instead of shooting photos, but just this beautiful green valley. And then every single one of these rocks has some sort of art or communication or, uh, you know, recording things that happened, whatever it might have been at the time. Look at this. And it's all on this huge hillside. It really does stick up in the landscape. Walking up the side of this hill are some of my favorite, favorite ones. If we look over here, we have a six-fingered hand. And we have another hand here. There's also quite a few of these. I, I mean, I think that's a sun. There's also quite a few of these kind of spiral, will, sun-looking ones all over the place. And they're very, very beautiful. And so while I might not know a whole bunch about these petroglyphs or their meanings, I do know at least enough about photography to know when I found my favorite formation out here and my favorite petroglyphs. This is just a really awesome rock formation. It looks almost like a crystal kind of coming out of the ground. And so I'm going to do, uh, I got permission to shoot overnight here. And so I don't know, we might try to do some star time lapse there. At least, uh, at least a nice blue hour photo. So if you're here for the uh, photography side of things, um, as I have been recently, I'm on my Sony a7R4. This is a Voigtlander 15mm 2.0. This is an all manual lens, and right now I'm using a Nisi CPL, and it's also uh, ND. Um, watch that last video when I was in Horseshoe Bend. Kind of broke my, uh, broke my polarizer. That's why the time lapse from that was just like a little, a little gritty. There's a lot of dirt and scratches on it, so I had to throw on my, uh, my backup polarizer. But uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get down while we still have some of this really dramatic lighting. I know the sun is not quite on the horizon yet, but we have some dramatic lighting there on this rock, this one in front of me, and I want to frame up a shot where we get a little bit of a sun star, and we get a little bit of this really bright area contrasting this dark area. And you might not be able to tell, but it looks like there's actually some petroglyphs on this rock as well. So the polarizer is going to come in handy because I can kill some of this glare off of the rock. And then, uh, you know, maybe get a pretty cool shot. I think this location really is going to lend itself towards astrophotography and nighttime better. There's something about 
ruins and ancient peoples that, uh, you know, they were so guided and drawn to the stars. And there's so many of these petroglyphs and there's so many of these monuments that are built, uh, you know, in accordance to the stars and constellations and stuff like that. So I really think that my shot here is going to be a nighttime shot. So here's kind of the frame I want to work with. We have some dramatic lighting on the left. We have some on the right. We have a little bit of extra lighting and foreground on the left just to balance out the hill that's over there on the right and then kind of its flat portion that's over here on the left. And, uh, you know, I'm probably going to try to do this without a tripod. These rocks are pretty durable. They've been out here for a long time. And, you know, there's probably a decent amount of foot traffic. But I don't want to be the one to damage these at all. Even, uh, you know, even little scratches and things like that really take away from these original petroglyphs and kind of their beauty. And so, um, you know, before the sun gets any lower, I'm going to snap a few shots and then we'll pick back up then. I still think nighttime is really going to do this place just the justice it needs. We don't even have any clouds in the sky, but the glow that we're getting right now is just spectacular. And I had to take one more break, just one more quick break to show y'all. That was, that was a really good sunset. There's not a cloud in the sky, but we have this beautiful, beautiful little crescent moon. Uh, and it's going to be setting. I don't know why I did like that. It's going to be setting about where the sun just set at. And uh, even that little crescent will provide some really, really good, just slight ambient light. So yeah, I think we're going to try to set up a time lapse. There's... Nobody out here. I have permission to shoot at night time, and so, uh, I think the camera will be safe. If not, what did Farquaad say? That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> oh, but, um, check this out. Check out this frame. All right, there's our frame. It's not too bad, ladies and gentlemen, and I was also able to focus stack it front to back and HDR it, so that means I did four different focus stacks front to back at four different uh, exposure levels. And so we're gonna have ourselves a really nice, fine art Native American petroglyph sunset frame. I almost do not even wanna shoot a blue hour frame at that spot because that's the shot. I'm really happy with it. I love how I got the angle of that rock to almost match the angle of that hill on the right, but the light, offsets it perfectly there on the left probably throw some clouds in there and uh go from there got a little windy right after sunset and i'm hiking around looking for a time lapse frame and i missed these earlier i just love how intricate they are and again it looks like maybe maybe another one of those suns i don't think this is the best place to run the time lapse but uh Look at this thing. There's so much out here. It's just really, I mean, look, every single area I turn, there's just something else. Anyway, it's getting dark. I know the recording is starting to look pretty bad. I need to get a blue hour photo of our last spot. And then I really, really need to find a time lapse spot very soon. Something that's stable and uh, kind of hidden. Ooh, wow, look at this one! Oh my gosh. So, looks like he has some sort of a crop. Maybe, maybe wheat? And then maybe a crown. And he looks kind of angry, almost warlike. That might be a good time-lapse frame. It's, uh, very cool. It's not my favorite space sort of, uh, frame that I would pick, but we do have the mountains. So, anyway, I'm gonna keep looking, and, uh, we'll see y'all in the morning. So, unfortunately, right after I left y'all last night, the, uh, the winds picked up. It got a little stormy, and I didn't really want to leave the tripod a couple miles from the truck. That's a long way to go to try to save the camera before it gets soaked and it started raining. But what a beautiful place, am I right? Just all of the petroglyphs are so well preserved. There's thousands and thousands of them. As I was wandering around last night looking for photos, I just kept finding new and interesting ones to just look at and think about how I got there. I know this was a super short impromptu video and I wasn't even going to make it, but once I got out there and just saw how beautiful that site was, I knew I wanted to film a couple clips and just bring y'all along to 
uh, enjoy that as well. If you want to see any of the final images, if you'll follow my Instagram page, at Tony Maples Photography. Whenever I finally get around to editing them, that's where I'll post it. But if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all at the next place.